Hello everybody! Watch this video to find out how to recover data from a, the system drive or RAID system based on the virtual network to attach storage, Starwind, SAM and NAS. In today's video, I'll show you how to recover data from a RAID level 5 with the XFS file system or a virtual machine based on VMware hypervisor. This video tutorial is also suitable for other ways of building a virtual network attached storage, Hyper-V, KVM, and so on. But before we get down to data recovery, let's have a quick look at what Starwind Sun and NAS is. Starwind Sun and NAS is a powerful and convenient tool to create and manage network storage systems. It allows users to unite several physical disks into a single data storage, with the opportunity to backup and replicate data. However, just like any other equipment, even with the most reliable system on board, Starwind still has a risk of data loss due to various factors such as hardware failures, operating errors, or human faults. In today's video, we'll explore how to recover data from Starwind Sun and NAS storage if it is lost or damaged. I will show you the recommended steps in the data recovery process using specialized tools and methods. We will also cover important aspects in preventing data loss and creating backups to ensure the safety of your data. For installation, download an ISO image of the operating system for Starwind Sun and NAS from the official website. Click Download, fill in the gaps, and then two links will be sent to your email. A link to download the ISO image of the system and a link to download the trial version key. Creating a virtual machine with Starwind, Sand and NAS is no different from doing it on Ubuntu. Visit our channel to check out one of our videos for a detailed tutorial on creating virtual machines in the VMware system. The only difference is the network settings. To see the machine online, choose Bridged Networking. Now let's explore Starwind installation in greater detail, although this process shouldn't raise any questions. Power on the virtual machine. When it starts booting, you'll see the license agreement window. Accept the agreement to continue. Then you will see the installation window. Make sure the item Install Starwind Appliance is selected and press Enter. Now choose the disk where to install the operating system. Type Yes to confirm your choice and press Enter. It starts the installation process, so you'll have to wait a little until it is over. When it's complete, press Enter to restart. When the virtual machine boots, you'll see the management console. To make a storage device accessible on the network, configure its network settings, including the IP address and subnet according to your infrastructure. This will allow other devices on this network to connect to the storage and exchange data, as well as to manage the storage system. To open the console, press Enter, then type the login and password. By default, the login is user and the password is RDS123RDS. capital. Now open the network settings and press Enter to modify them. Type the IP address, the subnet mask, default gateway, as well as the host name and DNS, then press Enter to confirm them. Now when you proceed to this address in your browser, it opens the web interface for Starwind, SAN and NAS. Having opened this address, you will see the Starwind Initial Configuration Wizard window. At the next stage, upload the license file. The link to it was sent to you earlier together with a link to the operating system image. Read and accept the end-user license agreement to continue. View or modify network settings and click Next. An important note, we recommend using static network settings in this configuration. Specify the name and location of the virtual machine and click Next. Create an administrator account, give the login and password, confirm the password and click Next. Review the selected properties and click Configure to start setting up your storage. Wait until the initial configuration wizard configures Starwind Sun and NAS. 
Now the storage is configured and ready for work. Click Finish to install StarWind vSphere plugin or uncheck the box to skip this step and proceed to the login page. Enter the login and password to, for the new user. Here you can create a pool, a volume, and so on. In the next part of this video, we'll be exploring how to recover data from a RAID system, but before that, let's see how it can be created in this operating system. This RAID will be based on MD ADDM technology. To build the RAID with the available hard disks, open Storage – Storage Pools. Click on the button Create a new pool. After that, select disks and choose the pool profile for this pool. The recommended, automatic one or manual. In the manual profile, you can select the RAID level and file system. By default, it's XFS. When all the properties are ready, click Create. When the creation process is complete, the pool will appear in this window. Now you can create a volume. Open the Volume tab, click on Create a new volume, select the storage pool where the new volume should be created, then set its name and size. At the next stage, choose your file system settings, review the properties and click Create. When the volume is ready, you can create a shared folder and configure access to it. Open the Storage Management Console. Choose Configure SMB Share, Create SMB Share, check this option for the required volume and give the shared folder name. Then press Yes or Enter to confirm. After that, change the SMB password, otherwise the shared folder will never appear on your network. So open the File Explorer, Network, and here it is, your shared folder. Now let's explore the process of data recovery. If you need to recover data from a crashed RAID with Starwind Sun and NAS operating system or from the system drive, use a dedicated tool from Hetman Recovery. If you want to recover data from a system drive, choose Hetman Partition Recovery. And if you'd like to do it from RAID, install Hetman RAID Recovery. It supports most popular file systems, RAID levels and array patterns used by various NAS manufacturers, including Starwind. Since this NAS is based on a virtual machine, the recovery tool also supports work with virtual disk files used by various hypervisors. Download, install and run Hetman RAID Recovery. To search for lost files on virtual machine disks, they should be first mounted into the recovery tool. To do it, Click Tools, Mount Disk, then choose the virtual disk type or hypervisor and give the path to the virtual disk files. Click OK and click Next again. After that, the disks will appear in the Programs window and you will see your RAID. The recovery program will automatically rebuild the RAID with the available hard disks, so all you have to do is to scan it. This is how the system drive is displayed in the program's window. Due to peculiarities of the file system and for convenience reasons, it is separated and shown as a detached device. If you need to recover data from this drive, right-click on it and choose Open. After that, choose the scan type and analyze the disk. The RAID array is shown above. To start searching for lost files, right-click on the array and choose Open. Select the scan type. For starters, we recommend running a fast scan first. It will take less time. If the program failed to find the necessary files, then run full analysis. To do it, go back to the main window, right-click on the array and choose Analyze again – Full Analysis. Select the file system type for this disk and uncheck the box for content-aware analysis to accelerate the search process. 
In very complicated scenarios, you can choose to scan the disk with Content Aware Analysis enabled. When the scan is over, open the folder where the lost files used to be. This recovery tool preserves original file names and folder structure, which makes the recovery process as user-friendly and convenient as possible. Besides, the program lets you preview the file contents before recovery, which helps you to make sure that you are going to recover exactly the data you've been looking for. The contents of every file is displayed in the preview window. Any files which were previously deleted are shown with the corresponding marking. Select all the items you want to recover and hit the Recovery button. Specify where to save the data, choose the disk and folder, and click Recover again. When the recovery process is complete, you will see all the files in the chosen directory. Summing up, we have explored how to recover data from Starwind, SAN and NAS storage. It is important to keep in mind that data loss prevention strategies and regular backups can help you considerably reduce the corresponding risks. Also, remember to monitor the condition of your equipment to avoid unexpected failures and issues related to the work of your NAS. With all these things combined, you can ensure safety and reliability of your data storage system. And that is all for now. I hope this video was useful and it helped you to recover lost files. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave your comments under the video. Thank you for watching and good luck!